health experts recently reinforced the safety of flu shots for expectant moms. Now they're doing the same for the vaccine which protects against whooping cough. In the past few years, the Centers for Disease Control have recommended getting something called the Tdap, which stands for the tetanus the diphtheria booster, and another acellular pertussis vaccine. Babies can't be vaccinated against whooping cough until they're two months old. Until then, the antibodies they've inherited from their mother are their only defense. The whooping cough can leave babies breathless and even result in death. Pertussis tends to be more severe in younger children. Um, that's where it gets its classic name, whooping cough. In a classic case of pertussis or whooping cough, you can have an infant that just has deep, persistent coughs. To test the safety of the vaccine during pregnancy, researchers looked at more than 100,000 women who got the shot during their last trimester. They found the vaccine didn't increase preterm delivery, low birth weights or preeclampsia. At the same time, it bridged the gap until baby's first shots while protecting mom as well. What we try to do is create a cocoon of people who are immunized against pertussis until that newborn has had a chance to receive the vaccine series. It's worth adding the Tdap booster to the baby pre-checklist, providing an extra blanket of protection for newborns. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.